بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک فرنڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو اندر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی مایکرو بیال جیسٹر ٹوڈی ان دیس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ار گونٹو ٹوک اباؤ ٹرپٹک سوائی میڈیا مینز ٹرپٹک سوائی بروت اور ٹرپٹک سوائی ایگر میڈیا ان دی پریس ویڈیو لیکچر اف یو گائز ریمبر وی ٹوکٹ اباؤ دی مولر ہنٹن میڈیا and before that we talked about Macon, Kiegar, Neutron, Agar all these made up we talked in the previous video lecture so if you missed these video lectures so go back to my channel and watch this video lecture now today in this video we are going to talk about the triptych soy media so what is triptych soy media uses principle their composition each and everything so let's start the video Now let's start the video with the introduction. What is triptych soy media? Remember guys, triptych soy media is actually again it's the type of culture media which is basically what which is the complex media means it contain all nutrient substances which are needed for every type of the bacterial growth. We can also say that it is generalized purpose media. It is because we can use it for the general purposes. Moreover, the media is available in the form of broth, semi-solid and in the form of agar. If we remove the agar, so the media will be broth. So if we remove, if we put half percent of the agar, so the media will be semi-solid or if we add 100% agar, so the media will be uh, triplex y agar. Then what are the uses of this media? So we can use this media for the growth of fastidious as well as for non-fastidious bacterial culture. Means through this media we can grow every type of the bacteria. Okay. Moreover, this media is specially used for the storage purpose. We use it for culture purpose. We use for enumeration of the cell. Means colony. Uh, we use it for the isolation, purification, simple or general culture purposes. Okay. We can also use this media for the preparation of the blood agar media. Remember guys, when we sterilize it, after the sterilization, if we add sheep blood, so then this media will be converted into blood agar media. Now this media contains dextrose, sodium chloride and agar. Now the presence of this material, it is uh, then used for the cultivation of Salmonella typhorium. This media also contain the salt material. So when the media contain the salt material, so then it can identify the level of tolerance of the microorganisms. Moreover, we can also use this media to isolate the microbes from water, cosmetic, industrial, food, as well as for beverages. Beverages means uh, bakers like materials. Bakers and the material, uh, the eating material which is present in the bakers. What are the composition of this media? Now the most important ingredient, these are the most important ingredient as you can see. Okay. So for 1 liter peptic digest of casein will be needed 17 gram. For 1 liter peptic digest of soybean and meal will be needed 3 gram. Dextrose will be 2.5 gram for 1 liter. Dipotassium hydro hydrogen phosphate will be 2.5 gram. NACL will be 5 gram, agar will be 15 gram for 1 liter and obviously we need uh, distilled water 1 liter. So mix all the ingredient and then heat mix it, autoclave it, pour it and then use it for the bacterial isolation. What are the principle of this media? As we talked uh, that this media contain uh, casein and peptic digest of soybean meals all these are actually the most important essential nutrients which actually providing nitrogen vitamins minerals and due to this way it can make the media too much suitable for the growth of every type of the bacteria which which will be the we can say fastidious or non fastidious microorganisms this media also contain the glucose which is actually acting as a carbohydrate source Moreover, the, due to the presence of sodium chloride, it can maintain the osmotic balance. Means it make the cell 
crazy due to this way the cell can uptake the material which is present outside the cell and the material which is present inside the cell so it will release will be released out so the cell osmotic uh, pressure so the osmotic level will be balanced and all of you better know agar is specially used for the solidifying agent now let's talk about that how we can prepare it so remember guys if we have the ingredient and bottle is not available so mix the ingredient and heat mix it and then do the uh, same things which we talked in the previous so let's suppose if you have a bottle so then wait for 5 gram in 1 liter through weight balance then dissolve it into distal water and after that heat mix it after that are to clave it for 15 minute at 121 degree celsius then before pouring it into the dis uh, uh, sterilized petri plate mix it well and after that pour it after that use it for the streaking purposes means use it uh, to isolate the bacteria let's suppose if you want to put the water so then take 100 microliter water and add it and then spread it okay so this is actually spread plate technique and if you want to streak so then uh, use the wire loop and while uh, while using the wire loop then streak uh, taking uh, uh, take the colony through this wire loop and then streak it streaking means like this manner zigzag motion then incubate the plate after this 24 hour incubation check the colony morphology so this is how we can prepare and use this media now what type of the result we obtain what type of the result we obtain through this media as we talk that this media is used for the growth of every type of the bacteria so these are the most important bacteria which we write here and uh, these are actually the colony characteristics of the bacteria which are presented on triptych soy agar so if we see e coli so e coli showing shiny grayish to white round colonies on triptych soy media pseudomonas will be the same as we talked in the neutron and molar hilton means blue green rough colonies enterobacter will be grayish yellow colonies on triptych soy salmonella have grayish white colonies klebsiella have medium to large mucoid colony which we talked in the on neutron agar and which we talk on kleb uh, on mekon kegar Uh, this, uh, means on mucoidal agar it will be uh, pink colony but mucoid and uh, large colony then a bomonae will be circular half white colonies bacillus subtitle will have flat large irregular white colonies step aureus have pigment shiny round yellow colony so these are the colony morphologies of the bacteria on triptych soy media so these are what these are the colony of e coli means smooth round colony and these are the rough colony of pseudomonas aeruginosa if you see the blue greenish colony of the pseudomonas so remember these are the pathogenic strain of the pseudomonas the colony here is not the pathogenic strain but this is actually the rough colony of the pseudomonas aeruginosa if you want to further identify the pseudomonas aeruginosa so then use mekon kegar which is actually pseudo, which is uh, lactose and non lactose fermented isolate uh, used for the lactose and non lactose fermented bacteria and obviously we know that pseudomonas is what non lactose fermented bacteria so you will easily identify the pseudomonas on using mekon ki media then these are the colony of what enterobacter salmonella typhorium or salmonella species klebsiella as you can see around mucoid large colonies Bacillus subtitus, irregular colonies, you can see, and Staph aureus, round yellow colonies. So these are what these are the bacterial morphological, uh, morphological uh, study of the colonies uh, on triptych soy media. I hope you uh, you guys get idea about that. Thank you so much for watching.